Hello everybody hope you all are doing great welcome to my channel my name is Kavash Khanna and this video is a part of my cries diaries over the past few days i've received multiple queries from a lot of you people asking me about the timeline in cries university how is your yearly schedule at cries university going to be like when do you have your exams what time are your normal classes and finally when do you have holidays or your semester breaks so don't worry guys this video will answer all those questions make sure you watch this video till the very end as it has everything that you need to know about your college timings your yearly time schedule the list of holidays and a few other important notes so let's get started for a lot of you people asking me about the college timings here's the list and the details about the college timings in each of the campuses of Christ University starting off with central campus you have classes from 9 am in the morning till 4 pm there are a few courses which have early morning classes which start at 6:30 am in the morning bjr campus has classes from 8:30 am in the morning till 3:30 pm kengiri campus just like the main campus has classes from 9 am to 4 pm Delhi NCR campus has two timings firstly for summer season wherein the classes start at 8:30 am in the morning till about 3:30 pm in the afternoon and then there is the winter timing which happens during the winter months of the year which is from 9 am in the morning till 4 pm Lavasa campus has classes from 9:15 am in the morning till 4:15 pm in the afternoon and for a lot of you people asking me if saturdays are off unfortunately guys Saturdays are not off at Christ University but to a benefit for the students Saturday is considered to be a half day at Christ University which means that you do not have classes post lunch coming to the most important thing that you guys should know about is the yearly timeline at Christ University i've divided this yearly time schedule from june to may which is just like the starting and the ending month for a student at Christ University starting off with june you have the joining of first semesters or at christ how they call it joining of all odd semesters first semester third semester and fifth semester in july you have the normal classes in august you have the mid semester examinations and in september you again have normal classes october you have the end semester examinations which are like the finals of each semester and then you have a semester end break in november again is the joining of second semester or in christ how they call it joining of all even semesters which is semester number 2 4 and 6 december you have normal classes and then you have the christmas and the new year break in january once you come back from your break you have the mid semester examinations february again you have normal classes and march you have end semester examinations which start towards the end of march and then get carry forward till the starting week of april or till the mid week of april post your end semester examinations you have a full break which is called the year end break at christ university which starts from april mid till the whole of may and then again you get back to college in the starting of june when i talk about normal classes it is just how your normal schedule at christ university would be you would attend classes you would participate in events you would play sports and you would do all the extra curriculars which christ university has to offer so i hope this yearly schedule and timeline is clear to you all and then obviously you can plan your holidays and breaks accordingly so coming to the list of expected holidays at christ university i have bifurcated it into each month and the usual public holidays that you would find in each of those months at the end of each year you would have approximately 20 public holidays it would only be your bad luck if all these holidays fall on a sunday make sure you take a screenshot of this list of expected holidays as it is going to be very important for you to plan your breaks because sometimes if this falls on a weekend you can go home you can even travel around your campus and visit new places during these holidays i have already made a video on the best weekend getaways from bangalore so make sure you check that out coming to the last part there are a few important things that i want to tell you guys and make sure you make a note of it Firstly all public holidays are off however it is as per the state government 
Now, Christ University follows the state government schedule, which means that the state government calendars are considered official calendars whenever they have to declare a public holiday. So, a lot of holidays, which would be holidays in Karnataka, might not be followed for the Delhi NCR campus. And likewise is going to be the case if there are some holidays in Maharashtra, it might not be followed to other campuses other than Lavasa campus. So to get an accurate list of public holidays, so you guys should check out the state calendar of your particular state in which your campus is. Secondly, mid-semester exams are usually for a week. Now during the week, while mid-semester examinations are being conducted, you would not have normal classes, but yes, there would be exams back to back which means if you have an exam on Monday, then you have another exam on Tuesday. And some days, maybe you have two exams on each day, one in the morning section and the other in the afternoon section, depending on how your schedule and the number of subjects you have. Third point is your end semester exams are usually for two weeks. Now, during your end semester exam, you would definitely have breaks in between your subjects, which means if you have one exam on Monday, then the other might be on a Thursday or a Wednesday. Fourthly, you have one week study break before the end sems. So now before each of your end sems, be it for your odd semester or for your even semester, you would get a full one week off in which there would be no classes and that whole time would be given to each and every student to prepare for the examination. That time is very very important if you want to study and score well for your exams at Christ University. However, a lot of people prefer to travel around their campus or go back home during the study break as well. Along with that, for the senior classes, which is like the second year, third year, you might have your VIVAs or project submissions during this one week of study break. Number fifth is October break is a semester break, not a Diwali break. One of the misconceptions that people have is that the October break, which happens after your end semesters for all the odd semesters, is that it is going to be a Diwali break. Unfortunately, it is not. Usually, whenever Diwali falls during those days, then obviously you would get full two weeks, approximately two weeks to enjoy with your family. However, that is not the case each and every time. So if a Diwali is around the November or in the mid of November, then you might not get full proper Diwali break. Then it would just be one day off. But obviously, if it falls on a 25th or a 26th of October, then you get the whole time off and you can spend the Diwali with your parents or with your family members at home. You can still travel to go back on Diwali, but then that would be at the cost of your own attendance if it does not fall in between the October break, which is the end semester break. Coming to the sixth point, during the April-May break, students might have to do internships and other projects. For the first years, usually you are free to do anything that you want to do in your this break, which is from April mid till the end of May, which is like a 45 day break and you guys are free to do whatever you want to. But from the second year, you would have a compulsory internship or other projects that you would have to do during this time, which is completely recorded at Christ University. Coming to the seventh point, yes, you can walk out of the campus during the day. A lot of you people were asking me if during your college times, which is from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. or 8.30 to 3.30, are you allowed to walk out of the campus? And the answer to that is yes, you can walk out of the campus whenever you want to. There is no hard and fast rule of that. However, if you are missing your classes, then obviously it comes at the cost of your attendance. But just in case if you have lunch or if you have extended lunch, which means one hour before lunch or one hour after lunch, you have a free class, then you can surely walk out of the class. And sometimes if you don't want to attend a particular class, you can surely walk out of the campus whenever you want to. So you are free to do that. So these were the important points that I wanted to tell you guys about the yearly timeline at Christ University. So this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like this video and this video could answer a lot of doubts and questions you had in your mind. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any other doubts, questions or queries relating to the yearly timeline or the list of holidays at Christ University. Lastly, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon as you would get regular notifications whenever I upload any new videos. So thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.